EIF Guidebook is a searchable database of information about early intervention programs designed to support policymakers, commissioners, service managers and others to make informed decisions about selecting and investing in programs that have been evaluated and shown to improve outcomes for children and young people. It is a rich source of information about evidence, child outcomes, cost, implementation, previous evaluations and more. Since it launched in 2014, the EIF Guidebook has more than doubled in size to include over 100 early intervention programmes. It's great that we've been able to continue to expand the Guidebook year after year to include more and more of the programmes that are actually being delivered around the country or might be brought to the UK from other countries. But we know there are hundreds of early intervention programmes out there that aren't included on the Guidebook. And this raises some important questions. What does it mean for a programme to appear on the guidebook in the first place? And perhaps just as important, what does it mean if a programme doesn't appear? The EIF guidebook provides information about programmes that have at least preliminary evidence of improving outcomes for children and which are already being used in the UK or could feasibly be introduced here. It is not a conclusive list of programmes which have the highest quality evidence, have been proven to work or are endorsed by EIF. The guidebook contains a huge diversity of programmes. It is not a directory of programmes that have the very best evidence. Yes, there are big international programmes with multiple highly rigorous trials, but there are also smaller local programmes with some early pilot testing. Being on the guidebook is not by itself an indicator of quality or effectiveness. All it says is that a programme has at least some useful early evidence of positive impact. This is why the guidebook provides more deeper detail on how a programme has demonstrated effectiveness in the past and how strong that evidence is. Being on the EIF guidebook does not mean a programme is endorsed or recommended by EIF. However, there are clear and important differences between the programmes on the guidebook in terms of how well evidenced they are. The evidence rating indicates how much confidence you can have that a programme is effective, based on the number and quality of trials and evaluations conducted so far. Programmes with a Level 3 or Level 4 rating are considered evidence-based. This means these programmes have a proven track record of having worked in the past, based on at least one high-quality evaluation. Programmes with a Level 2 rating are considered to have preliminary evidence, these programmes have started to develop their evidence, but because of the way in which they have been evaluated, we cannot say for certain whether they have worked in the past. The evidence rating reflects how confident we can be that there is a causal relationship between implementing the programme, on one hand, and achieving positive outcomes for children on the other. In other words, how confident can we be that there was an improvement in the lives of the children who received an intervention, and that that intervention caused the improvements? Crucially, the evidence rating is not a rating of the scale of impact. It doesn't say how big the improvement was or might be in the future. All programmes on the guidebook have an evidence rating of at least two, and that means that they all have at least preliminary evidence of improving outcomes for children. That's the bar a programme has to get over to get onto the guidebook. So simply being included on the guidebook in and of itself doesn't imply anything about the quality of the program or the effectiveness or impact of the program. To find that out, you always have to dig deeper into all the other information that the guidebook provides about individual programs. Before a program is added to the EIF guidebook, its evidence is reviewed by a team of researchers to assess its quality. Programmes that are given an evidence rating of two or more are added to the guidebook. This means there are two primary reasons why an early intervention programme doesn't appear on the guidebook, because it hasn't yet been assessed by EIF or because it has been assessed and it doesn't qualify for at least a level two rating. The most important thing to remember is this. The fact that a programme doesn't appear on the guidebook does not necessarily mean that it doesn't work, that it's too small or too local, or is lacking in evidence it's likely there are well-evidenced effective early intervention programs out there that don't yet appear on the guidebook. So we'll continue to work hard to assess the evidence for as many programs as possible, but for now at least, the guidebook shouldn't be taken as an exhaustive list of early intervention programs. When they are assessed by EIF, 
Some programs are found not to have evidence that qualifies for a level two rating. These programs are not included in the EIF guidebook. A list of these other programs appears alongside the main guidebook. If a program does not appear in the main guidebook or on this list, then it has not yet been assessed by EIF. The fact a program doesn't achieve a level two rating or higher does not mean that a program doesn't work. Many of these programs are developing and innovating and are on their way to being established effective programs. Indeed, many of the programs currently on the guidebook wouldn't have received a level two rating earlier in their life cycle. Being on this list doesn't mean that a program does not work or should never be commissioned. It simply means they have not yet conducted an evaluation which meets our standards for preliminary evidence. If they are commissioned, they should be monitored closely to ensure they are providing positive benefits to the children and families who are taking part. The EIF Guidebook is your one-stop shop for evidence-based information on early intervention programmes. To find out more, visit guidebook.eif.org.uk.